Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and I hope that you had a very nice Christmas yesterday. I'm recording this on Wednesday 26th of December, actually a few hours before the actual upload and so it's almost a live video. And the reason why I'm walking here with you, it's not only because it's nice weather, sun is shining, it's cold, but it's, it's weather as it should be in December. But the actual reason is that I want to talk with you a little bit about the coming weeks and the coming months on our YouTube channel. Coming weeks, of course, it's holiday. The kids are at home. I have very little time for production, certainly not to make uh, recordings of the pianoforte when the kids are at home. Uh, but also I want to spend a little bit more time with them. The second thing is that on a little bit longer term there might be in the future weeks and maybe months I think uh, until early March uh, the, uh, the situation where not every Wednesday, Friday or Monday you will find an upload notification. So in other words um, it might be so that you will not find a video at all. I have no idea exactly how much upload moments I will miss, but the reason is that um, Authentic Sound as a YouTube channel, but also a little bit as a business, which sounds weird, but it, and I, I hope I don't sound too commercial. I'll explain in a second. Um, we, I need to, to think a little bit more long term. And as a YouTube channel de developed recently or over the course of last year, I spent a lot of time actually producing the videos, which was really fun to do. And I've learned um, a lot of things. I mean, if uh, you can read about things, you can reflect on things, you can do whatever you want. But if you ever try to make an article or a video, which is basically the same, you have to come to certain conclusions which force you to dive deeper into details and finish a thought process. Um, so the time I spend for preparation for YouTube videos is well spent. I hate the editing by the way, but that's something that's that's another, uh, that, 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 that's obviously you have to do that. But anyway, so when I, when I ran through the videos I've uploaded in 2018 and I went a little bit further in 2017, I actually never did that before. But now because many of, many of you pointed to some videos that for you were the number one videos of 2018. So I did the exercise myself and it sounds ridiculous, but I was actually a little bit amazed by the enormous output I did. The videos like the Schumann metronome numbers, the Chopin videos, the and I mean the, not not even the the sound recordings, not the actually music productions, but the Wednesday videos, um, the Melzel instructions. There was a video of 29 minutes, a script of 11 pages. And all those videos were very well watched, so I have nothing to complain. But I was thinking I should be able to do a little bit more with that material than quote-unquote only make a YouTube video, which still for me and is the, the most fun to do. It's a direct interaction with you, which is really, really nice. If you talk to people who are not familiar with this YouTube or this social platform experience, and by the way, we are walking here now in a very nice place. It's very muddy with my shoes. I should have chosen something else, but here is actually a kind of desert place. Very few people are coming here. It's very close to our house, only one kilometer. But anyway, if you talk to people who are not so familiar, they don't understand what's the excitement about a social platform like YouTube. But it's 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 like a family. It's like a community, and so uh, you get used to some interaction. I mean, many of you, I I have the feeling I know, and so 
that's different than writing a book. You write a book, it's published, and what happens to it, you will never know. Because you lose the direct connection. But still, there are these other possibilities with the material that I have produced to also, and then I come to the quote-unquote commercial side, that actually could convert into a product that we could sell. And for instance, the Schumann, I'm playing now a little bit the Kinderszene on my pianoforte, you know, we have made a video on the incomprehensible quote-unquote metronome numbers by Schumann. Well, I've promised in that video to record the complete bundle when I have a pianoforte. Well, that's obviously the case. And it sounds wonderful, by the way. So I could upload that video, that recording, perhaps also make separate uploads from the Traumerei, maybe other uh, known pieces, in the hope that YouTube distributes that video to uh, a new audience. That's the way uh, you can grow an audience on YouTube when YouTube recommends those videos to people outside your community. And the more you watch as subscribers, and the earlier you watch the videos after upload, and the longer you watch, that's, and I'm not going to be too technical here, that's actually the more helpful because YouTube is measuring, especially the way you are watching the videos. How often do you click on notifications when they send them to you? And how long are you watching? So a golden tip is if you just check the video but have no time to, uh, to see it completely and want to see it later, just let it run. It gives YouTube the impression that the video is very worthwhile watching and so it starts to recommend um, the video to other persons. And if you see sometimes a weird thumbnail, uh, it's of course a little bit clickbait but in a positive way because outside our little authentic sound community, imagine you see, and think about it for yourself, if you see a, a list of recommended videos after you've watched one of your uh, videos on YouTube, YouTube gives you this list of recommendations, you often click on the thumbnail that's the more uh, enticing, that has a kind of story in it combined with the title. So if I am sometimes a little bit too provocative in the title, that's the only reason is to catch a little bit of attention, but in a positive way. But anyway, for instance, the Schumann, if I upload that, I will make probably a few videos, one or two, or a live stream, talking more in depth about the interpretation of the works. But I could go very systematically through all 15, I think are 15, and share some very detailed information on the performance. What are the essential... Um, what is my thought process? What's my working process? How do I come to the result that I came to? And so those videos could go on YouTube as well, but typically um, this is material for an online course. And so the video could be combined with a, with a few other videos where I give some detailed yet also general information and then we can, could go to an online course that I could ask a little bit of money for. Again, not to sound awfully commercial, but it could make in 2019 the things we are doing on Authentic Sounds a little bit more sustainable since as as I've talk, uh, told you, the, the organ businesses that I'm doing now, they run Authentic Sound. And in the coming year and coming two years, there are some changes happening there. So I don't know exactly how the future will be, but I do want Authentic Sound also to become more self-sustaining. And we ha don't have to complain, by the way. So such an online course could would be a a very logical and natural consequence of a, f uh, a recording on the trauma die of Schumann. I could do the same with Czerny, Opus 299 is waiting for recording. Uh, Gradus at Parnas and Clementi, I'm working on that. Beethoven sonatas, Mozart sonatas, writing the tempo guide to the Mozart keyboard works. It's on my list to do, but I need to find 
time for that also the inner rest to do that you know YouTube has a kind of algorithm there's a lot of competition and still YouTube for us is the motor of what we are doing um, it brings in our audience that's 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 for sure so I'm a little bit hesitant to let go this YouTube upload scheme too much because that's one of the prime best practices for YouTube once you have an upload scheme stick to it and but I have to think long term more and so the period until March early March I think will be enough to give me some room for doing things writing things thinking about things to combine the videos the things we're doing on YouTube into a more general and broader perspective also we're going to work with other musicians we have context contacts and not going into detail here but hopefully 2019 will be the year also where other musicians are joining us here on authentic sound so that also requires time and preparation some travelings um, making recordings creating also the platform and the context that this could happen um, but again seeing the output I did in 2018 and 2017 I definitely need to reuse some of that into other formats and so all to say that in the coming weeks and months you might not see a video notification on the expected times and dates and as last thing I've almost forgot that I will replace I will introduce a lot of live streams on the channel again also to bridge the period to March I know many of you like those especially the practicing sessions and that's are that are the best live streams for me because it's very little work actually to prepare technically it's not it's difficult but the requirements the outcome of the of the production um, of course there's no editing and I'm focused really a lot when I'm practicing together with you live can imagine that so there would be a nice reintroduction of a regular live stream schedule at the same time as leaving perhaps a little bit the old schedule so again I really don't know in detail how this will develop so we stay in contact I would say so that's the reason why I picked up this camera and invited you for a small short walk here just I don't think it's even one kilometer from our house we live right over there behind my over here it's difficult to point so it's a nice nice place here and so we are closing in 2019 entering almost 2019 and so I hope you will spend some nice days in these holidays have a nice ending of 2018 spend time with your friends and family because that's the most important thing on this planet and the most important things and the most important the biggest values I believe are in the small things in life like having breakfast this morning with my family What's better than that so check the channel regularly I will update you from time to time as well and hope to see you soon again bye